It's been about three years since I posted much of anything, and the reason for that is I've been living in China for the last three years. Right here, what you're seeing is a Sanda camp that I trained at in Jiangsu Province, China. Um, that guy right there instructing is a former national Sanda champion. If you don't know what Sanda is, it's basically Chinese kickboxing. In America, they usually call it Sun Show, um, but in China, everybody calls it Sanda. Um, what really separates it from uh, American kickboxing um, what Thai boxing is the emphasis on catching kicks and throwing and what you're seeing here is some of the more common ways to throw your opponent after catching a kick. I mean there are quite a few but in this video I'm going to focus on just some of the easier more high percentage techniques. This last technique that you're going to see is actually a technique from Tai Chi Twin or Tai Chi as most people more commonly call it. It's um, used in Sanda. I've actually seen it also used in Thai boxing, even at the highest level at Lumpini Stadium in Thailand. Um, it's one of the more difficult techniques to master, but it is a whole lot of fun once you get the hang of it, which I'll demo later. Alright, let's talk about catching kicks, which is a big part of uh, Sanda, Chinese kickboxing. Uh, it works out very well in mixed martial arts as well. A couple of ways to do it, if he's throwing a leg kick, this is uh, your leg you think. Essentially what I'm going to do is hook over the top and switch directions. And I'm going to basically step toward him at an angle and throw that kick. Just hook over the top and step toward him. Um, I can use this to set up throws, take down strikes to the head, throw that up again. Strike him. Um, However, if your opponent's kicking your midsection, um, you're going to use a slightly different technique here from the midsection kick. So, right there, throw that midsection kick. What I'm going to do is first block my ribs with the, uh, protect my ribs with the forearm right there, and then this arm is going to hook under, this arm is going to hook up. From here, I've got some great options to put them on the floor by bringing the wrist up into the, uh, the arm right there, twisting it and then pinning right, right there. Um, so more time for that kick up there. I've also got options to sweep that down your leg as well. Um, you can do this on both sides, right side and left side. You're just going to have to twist it away. You're going to throw off a right kick and left kick. You're going to do that. Now, if you're catching a head kick, you're going to use a slightly different technique. First, blocking the head kick. What I'm going to do is cover up right here and slap the shin right there. It helps if you move in toward your opponent. That way, you're not taking the full brunt of the bottom of the shin. Now, if I want to catch that, I'm going to swim this arm underneath. So throw that up here, and then move into him. And then it's essentially that same technique I had before with the midsection kick. Oh, that's pretty awesome. This is one of my students, Meg, we're doing some MMA sparring here. Um, this is totally not rehearsed, she actually pulled off a few of these the other day. Um, 
just to give you an idea of how you can use sundial leg grabs and throws in mixed martial arts to set up uh, takedowns and pins on the ground. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.